Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused the North Korean troops present in Russia of taking part in combat with Ukrainian forces. Zelensky has stated that the North Korean troops have already suffered casualties in the conflict. Speaking at a news conference at the European Political Summit community in Budapest, the Ukrainian leader has said that he believes more North Korean troops would be deployed on Russia's side. There are 11,000 troops. Part of them have already been in active combat against Ukrainian soldiers and there have been losses already. If we do not deploy adequate weapons and political pressure on the Russian Federation, the next step may be much more extensive use of North Korean contingent. Because Putin always observes what the reaction of the world is, I believe that today the reaction is not sufficient. He added that it would be unacceptable for Europe to offer the Kremlin concessions to halt its invasion of Ukraine. After Moscow demanded, the West enter direct talks on ending the war. Kiev is scrambling to up the pressure against Moscow after Donald Trump won the US presidential elections. Meanwhile, the United States has assured to keep surging aid to Ukraine. And this comes as Trump repeatedly criticized Biden administration for its military aid to Ukraine. I think in September, the president talked about surging uh, aid to U Ukraine, and we talked, and we've been hearing us to kind of announce uh, 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 aid to, U to Ukraine over the past several several weeks, if not months, and so um, uh, and so that's not going to change. We're going to surge and get that out there to Ukraine. We understand how important it is uh, to make sure they have uh, what they need, um, and so. Uh, that hasn't changed.